진짜 우영우가 현실에 어? 존재한다면? 요즘 세간의 화제인 이상한 변호사 우영우 이 드라마가 화제가 되며 덩달아 주목받은 사람이 있는데요 바로 실제 자폐인 변호사 헨리 모스 그녀는 2019년 미국 플로리다주 최초의 자폐 변호사가 되었다고 하는데요 아니 정말 우영우와 같은 자폐인 변호사라니 그래서 크랩이 헤일리를 만나보았습니다. Hi everyone, my name is Haley Moss. I am an attorney, I am an artist, I am an author, and I am also autistic. I think it's really well made. There's just so much about the show that I genuinely love. Because a lot of the times I see autism on TV, I'm very critical, I'm very nervous about it because I realize that's what people will later think of me or other people like me is, oh, you're just like that character I saw on TV. Why I think the drama of Extraordinary Attorney Wu is so popular too, is that you're seeing an adult and autistic women are usually historically underrepresented in TV. And all of a sudden we're seeing something that doesn't feel like the stereotype of what we think autism is. Hailey는 드라마를 보며 영우가 매일 같은 음식을 먹고 소음을 피하려 헤드폰을 착용하고 다니는 장면들에서 공감했다고 하는데요. 이외에도 특히 공감했던 장면들이 있다고 합니다. But I very vividly remember in my childhood being shown like little flashcards and stuff with people's faces on them that also I definitely related to that because I had to learn that too. Do you also have a photographic memory? Like who? I do. I used to do acting when I was in school. So I used to always be in all the school plays and I always looked forward to it because I would learn the entire script in less than a day. And it made me so, so excited. And I was like, this is when I'm very glad that this is a part of my brain. 현재 변호사이자 장애인 인권 운동가로 활동 중인 헤일리는요. 3살 때 처음 자폐 진단을 받았다고 합니다. 100조각 자리에 퍼즐을 쉽게 맞추고 또래보다 빨리 책을 읽었지만 5살이 되어도 말을 하지 않았다고 해요. 그렇지만 헤일리는 잘하며 항상 자신이 특별한 사람이라고 생각했다는데요. Was when I actually did find out about my own autism, I was 9 years old. And my parents compared it a lot to being like Harry Potter. And what my parents told me was that being different was neither better nor worse. It's just different. And different could be an extraordinary thing. So even though I might have struggled to communicate in the same ways as other kids, I wanted to know every single thing about it is the level of knowledge that I would just absorb on pretty much everything that interested me was something that felt exceptional. And I don't know if I see it as that I do things better than non-autistic people. Well, I look at it as that everybody has things that they're really good at, and most people have things that they're not so good at, and that's just part of the human experience. 보는 내용 쪽쪽 다 외워버려 남들보다 공부를 더 잘했지만 사람들은 여전히 세간경을 끼고 자신을 바라봤다고 합니다. 그래서 그 편견을 깨기 위해 헤일리는 중학생 때부터 자폐에 관한 이야기를 세상에 알리기 시작했다고 하는데요. I've always been very open with my own story, and I didn't feel like I had something to be ashamed of or anything to hide. Then sharing my story publicly like that mattered because I didn't want someone else. to feel alone or to feel scared or feel like they were doing it wrong. I wanted them to know that there was someone else who went through it. What changed the most after you confronting your autism? I don't have to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. And I think a lot of autistic people go through this is that they feel like they have to adapt so much that they have to act like somebody that doesn't feel authentic to themselves because you don't want to get bullied by other children. You don't want to be harassed as an adult, you want to have job opportunities when you're applying for a job, all sorts of different things. My entire life that it's easier to be authentic. 평소 글을 쓰고 말하는 것을 좋아했던 헤일리는 변호사가 되면 평생 자기가 좋아하는 걸할수 있을 것 같아 대학 졸업 후 로스쿨에 진학했다고 하고요. 이후 로펌에서 반테러 및 의료비나 전문 변호사로 일했대요. 꿈꾸던 변호사로 일하며 좋았던 순간도 많았지만 때론 자폐를 밝힌 사실이 힘들게 할 때도 있었다고 하는데요. I think the biggest challenges i wanted the same opportunities and i felt like i was constantly trying to prove myself at times because people often are very quick to underestimate you because of autism was there any circumstances that your autism spectrum helped you at work always i think that i always had a different way of solving problems i remember one of the very first cases i got to work on that my boss gave me instructions to do something very specific and i ended up doing something else that he didn't mention because I thought it was important. There was that distinction that dawned on me was the thing that made a difference for our client. 헤일리는 변호사로 일하는 것도 좋았지만요. 장애인들을 변호하는 일이 있을 때마다 더 돕고 싶은 마음이 생겼다고 합니다. 그래서 지금은 더 많은 사람을 돕기 위해 로펌을 나와 장애인 인권 운동가로 활동하고 있다고 해요.
그녀는 이번 드라마를 통해 자폐인에 대한 인식이 바뀌었으면 좋겠다고 하는데요. What feels like a fantasy to me about watching a drama like this is the way that other people perceive the things that are hard for us and that perceive kind of my existence. People always seem very supportive of her. I do think that's a little bit of a fantasy as well because the world is not always a super accepting, understanding place. That there are people who will constantly doubt your abilities, and I think that is a fantasy. But that's a fantasy I would like to be reality. 앞으로 장애인 인권 운동가로서 이루고 싶은 목표가 있다고 합니다. So I want to be independent. I want to be successful. I want a career that I love. I want to fall in love someday. That I say things like that, and people are like, "Yeah, that sounds pretty normal to me." I'm like exactly that we're really not that different just sometimes I might need more support and I think something that people don't realize is that disability is the largest minority group worldwide not just in the United States but across the world it's about 15% of people globally the impact that I'm hoping to make is I hope that other autistic people and other disabled people do not have the same obstacles in their paths that I had and I hope that there's just more opportunities for us more acceptance 변호사로 그리고 이제는 장애인 인권 운동가로 세상에 변화를 가져오고 있는 헤일리 머슨 그래도 헤일리가 걷는 길을 응원하겠습니다 I like the guy that is clearly into her and clearly seems to adore her and I just hope that things work out for them Oh really? A lot of people do.